Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher, and I'm joined by Alex Mann, Brook Curator at the, uh, of American Art at Chrysler Museum of Art, and the Kelly Welsh, North Marketing and Communications Director at uh, Norfolk Botanical Garden. How you doing? Good, good, good. We're putting you on a frame, or in a frame. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay, explain it to me. What's going on at the garden? Um, it's part of a collaboration with the um, Chrysler Museum of Art, and we'll certainly get to that. But the great frame up, we have strategically put in 20 or more um, frames throughout the garden. And we want you to take selfies or take a beautiful backdrop of the garden and then hashtag Norfolk Blooms. And then those pictures, we'll collect those and it will be part of an exhibit at the Chrysler. So if you take the picture, we need to get this out, right, because my, my wife is watching and nothing go online unless she approves Oh yeah, it. I know your wife and I want her to take a, so take a picture if, too. So if you hold the frame or you stand behind the frame and you take your picture and you do it to hashtag, you've given permission for it to go on the internet, right? Yes, because you're putting it on your own site. So, and then we can take them. So if you use the hashtag, you're giving us permission. So but we have so little frames like happy. this. Look, right, see? Oh. Um, we have little ones that we'll have at the front desk that you can check out, but the big ones, the large ones, you can do group pictures. Um, they're large out in the garden. Now, Very some exciting. of these pictures may take two minutes to take. Yeah. If that. Okay. Alex, you've got some pictures of the gar at the Chrysler, though. Absolutely. That took a long time to make. Yeah. Exactly. We're bringing in a beautiful exhibition this summer. It's called The Artist Garden, American Impressionism and the Garden Movement, over 70 paintings. Uh, of artists who are out working in beautiful gardens like the Norfolk Botanical Garden. And at the end of this show, uh, we're going to have a tie-in, a partnership with our local gardens to get people thinking both indoors about these great works of art and then outdoors about flowers in our own community. Okay, does this mean that the Chrysler is accepting the fact that selfies are art? Absolutely. I really? Love it. Yes, we are all artists. We are all creative in some way. And I think that's one of the fun parts about this exhibition. It's thinking about how gardening is also a creative act. And many of these painters were themselves gardeners. So they're planting their own gardens. They're designing which flowers they're putting in their yards because they know they're going to bring their easel outside and paint a picture of that. Or the way we're taking photographs in the gardens. Or somebody's exactly. going to run through their backyard yeah. and take a selfie. Sure. Just like that. I love it. It is, it's a great collaboration. So how did it, who gave birth to this collaboration? We started talking early mm -hmm. on. We've been planning this show for several years. All of our projects have uh, a few years in order to put okay. together and we went to the gardens and we said, we're bringing in the most beautiful paintings of flowers that you've ever seen. Let's work together, let's talk about some different ideas and uh, help your flower lovers come and experience our yeah. great works of art and vice Absolutely. versa. Absolutely. Okay, now did you plan the flower exhibits though? Come on. Well, it, you know what? Yes, we did. We did. Roses are in full bloom right now. So, so the cover be... of that book could be replicated behind a frame. Yeah. And let's oh, I would it. love it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, you'll come and see this painting, and this is uh, by Philip Leslie Hale. It's called The Crimson Rambler, and that is the variety of rose that you're seeing here within the picture. Uh, I'll go out to the gardens and see the beautiful roses that they have. I mean, it almost looks like a picture from the garden. And you have to wear a white dress. I was going to say, hat. if you wore that outfit, you'd probably stand <laughs> out, wouldn't you think? But that's the kind of cool part about the garden is bringing your day to day life and kind of letting it go and just enjoying the Yeah, it's solitude. blooming art daily. It's blooming okay, art. Okay, what's out there today? Um, well, we have the roses. Um, okay. Hydrangeas are right behind that. Um, there's rhododendrons still out there. I mean, tons of things. It's okay. just azaleas are gone. Azaleas are gone. Yeah, they lasted a long time though this year, so we were happy about that. It was a little bit of a late spring. Now, when you get the call from the Chrysler, you kind of had an idea going already. With, I mean, collaborations have been good for the garden and for the Chrysler, right? Absolutely. How does that work? Well, we had a big meeting we had with several people. There was probably 15 of us, and mm -hmm. just ideas were just floated around, and the idea of the frames came um, came up, and and that's we just, just one part of yeah. the collaboration. So they're bringing living sculptures into the museum. I'm really excited. Yeah, in the community space. So when you go in there, you'll learn about the heritage of um, Norfolk Botanical Garden. Okay. We'll have a beautiful backdrop painting by Mizell, which depicts the WPA, Workers from the Works Progress Administration project, with 220 African Americans that first started the garden, and different artifacts and these beautiful living sculptures. There, I've seen them. I Alex have not hasn't. seen them. They're so gorgeous, excited. so I can't wait to see them actually in their space. Can you describe it for Alex, a little bit yeah. of what they look like? Give me a hint. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep it a secret. Oh, oh come on. 
Now, okay, so the Chrysler exhibit starts when? It opens uh, on June 14th. Opens to the public on June 16th. We have a members preview on Sunday, June 14th, and it will be up through Labor Day weekend. Okay, and you can start framing it up? Um, the frames are up. They're not formally up. <laughs> I don't have formal signs up or anything like that, but people are already using them. Without people, permission? No, they, they can certainly use that, but formally they will be up by June 16th when the exhibit opens, but people are taking pictures, use the hashtag, um, and we'll find your picture. We'll cool. find your masterpiece. Now, okay, the, the, the collaboration of bringing those masterpieces over to the Chrysler, you're going to do that kind of in a high-tech way, right? It's not just a matter of pinning them on a bulletin board as we would do, or a refrigerator. Exactly. No, it's, it's all digital. So when you post that picture online, we're going to be taking that digital photo and it's going to be cycling through on a big screen. So in one room, you'll be looking at these beautiful American Impressionist paintings, and in the next room, you might see yourself. Cool. And of course, I got to say, we're almost done, that if you're not happy with the selfie you took at the, at the garden, you can come back the next day if you're a member. Absolutely. Great time to purchase a membership. It's a great deal. Absolutely. Come in free all year long. And of course, this exhibit at the Chrysler is? Well, we are always free, um, but we would love for you to be a member and stay even more informed about the exhibitions and the projects we're doing, family days related to this this summer, and some guest lectures coming from out of town. So we'll have a lot of programming. Check out our website to learn more about it. Awesome stuff going on during the summer. What better place to be to get framed up? I want to That's see you do that again as we go out. Here, I want one. <laughs> when we come back, here we, here we go. go. Here we go. Yes. Okay, when we come back, we're going to be talking about a blood supply that you can participate in this summer. Nice. They were very good.